What's happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Morbi, the Lords of Fire. And with three times experience, we are on the way to have the 20 points that we need. Hopefully, we will be able to get them. But hey, considering that this might be the final episode of Lords of Fire, I do want to say that you guys are awesome. Thank you very much for joining me on this whole adventure. I'd probably say the same right at the end because, of course, you guys deserve it. You guys deserve the praise. But as of right now, just giving you guys a friendly reminder. If you guys have been enjoying all of this, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, you guys know the classics. Don't forget to let me know. And show me some show, show some love on these videos. Because honestly speaking, that's the best way for you guys to let me know that you guys are appreciating it. And of course, it's the best way for um, Uncle YouTube to know that you guys are having fun. And pretty much send these videos out there. You guys know how it is. And what the freak is going on in here? Why am I... Oh, this is weird. Yeah, right off the get-go, we're already, like, in a really strange place. I do not know why, though. The, these four? Oh, for a relic. Those are delivered to, like, the lady. Ah, okay. So this is the type of little secrets right there that I'm saying that that's probably what I missed. I know in the previous episode, I showcased to you guys the weapons that we have and everything. We were missing a couple, like, four or five. So you guys probably once... I mean, this video is out before some of the areas, right? So probably by now... You guys already told me what did I miss and what didn't I miss. And that's really appreciated. So whenever I miss something, I normally just go back on my own time and I just pick it up and take care of that. And of course, as long as I have time. But, and as long as, of course, the game was good enough. And this one is one of those good games that you want to have like that managery fulfilled and having it ready to go. And it's just cool, right? It's just cool. Anyways. No secrets in here. Wait, what's happening right now? Huh. Okay, let's keep going up. Do you guys think that we're gonna encounter the final boss right away? That would be strange, no? It would be strange considering that I need more experience, but hey, if it is the final boss, it is what it is. Can I? Shit, I... Fuck. The game bugged on me. Yeah, main menu. Dang it. Now, the only problem with the game bugging on you is, as you guys might imagine, now we have to come back in here and we have to do everything again. Like, I do not know. Those are the type of things that the game needs to polish a little bit better. Like, give me an option to, like, debug myself or something like that. Fortunately speaking, we didn't do much. But there were places where we did lose a huge chunk of, like, the progress just because... Just because the game decided to bug, and that's something that is not cool. In my opinion. Anyways, it wouldn't be a fantastic ending to an indie game if it wasn't showing me some bugs and it wasn't testing my patience, right? It is what it is. Let's just go up. Ignore the rest. Who cares? I don't. I did, but not anymore. But you know, that's something that you should always consider whenever you're making your games. Like, if you're gonna make the rubble like this, you should always have it designed in a way where the player cannot get stuck. But I guess once they did the testing, nothing ever happened. And that's why you kind of like got stuck. It happens sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You do your testing and it just didn't work that way that you were intending it. So, hey, it is fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna drop unless I see an item. Nah, it's just a ladder. So it's a good thing that we didn't decide to drop. We're fine. What are those sounds? It's a giant bell. Some fire, sure. The Conus Medularis. Probably another save, yep. 
And this is probably a full section. And then... And then we're gonna have the, the boss fight. Because there is enemies, right? Unless the game wants you to, like, farm on them to, like, level up and things like that. Who knows? Nineteen. Just one more point. Just one last point and we're good to go. Can we do it, though? Uh, I think we can. I think we definitely can, considering this place. Yep. Oh, shit. This is blocked off. Okay, this is fine. That's a second one, that's beautiful. Okay, this is okay. Okay, keep dodging. What did I do? What are you doing? Shit! Shites! What's happening here? <laughs> fuck! Fuck! Okay, okay, so far so good. I'm alive. I'm barely alive, but I'm alive. I need these guys to die fast. Okay, keep running. Beautiful. Now we gotta take care of this son of a truck. Okay, this is bad. Dodge! Wait a second! Oh, that's why. I was like, why am I not leveling up? It's because the higher your stress level, the less experience that you gain. So all of this because of my stress level or my... Sanity level, it just went all the way to the ground. That's nasty. I'm gonna have to use some potion shrooms against the final boss, though. But once, of course, we get the hang of it. Not early. Is any of them gonna come this way? Okay, here it comes. Skill level obtained. That is absolutely beautiful. What a banger right there. Guys, we did it. 20 skill points, that means that we get to level up or power to level 3. The fuck is going on with this place? Do I have enough mushrooms? Not enough. That's bad. I'll use it. Uh, the guy is facing each other, so I actually have to go for the other one. I'm gonna have to like go behind them and then do something like this and then run oh whoa this is bad Okay, so far so good. Okay, 
Nice, nice, nice. That's one of them down. Ah, come on, sit down. Change your energy, come on. Okay, I'm barely alive. Sit down. Heal up. Hit him a couple of times. Goodbye. Guys, we are on fire. The game is throwing these gauntlets at us left and right, expecting for our defeat. And we are fighting back with a really slim chance of victory. But don't give me anything else, game, because I cannot survive this anymore. Give me my save. Get me ready for the final fight. There it is. There it is. Victory. It's in front of us with a big heart right there pulsing. Oh, guys, um, blessings. We're trying to, I could improve this, but we don't really care. You can block on blockables. We're going for this one. Upgrade. Boom. And there you go. Max out a blessing slot. So this one could have been good. Uh, we have other powers here at the top, but critical blows being better is just too good. You can block unblockable attacks. These two might be better to change. Let's test it out. Let's see. Let's see something. What is no downtime? Like one, two. Oh, what a freak! Look at my stamina. Oh my god! Yeah, that is that is just insane. That is that is so sick. That's for you guys to read right there. That's so long. Oh my god. Okay, we don't have any downtime on our dodges, so now we can just, you know, not worry about anything and just go crazy. I love it. I really like it. Any secrets over here? No final, you know, uh, item that will allow me to heal more? No? Okay. Let's do this, guys. It's been a pleasure. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. She looks a little bit underwhelming. Where are you? Oh, there she is. Okay, we stopped the thingy. Heal up. Okay, that's fine. Good. I didn't stop here, which is unfortunate. Where is she? Queen! Okay, that's bad. Okay, but she showed up again. I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, this is weird. Can you please go down? There you go, run over here. Okay, that didn't block. Heal up again. Oh, there he is.
Okay, this is nasty. Now it's second phase or something. I do not know. Oh, shites. That's bad, right? I cannot run that way, so I'm gonna have to like... Oh, shite. Do I have to like run? Yeah, I have to like run. Oh, shit! Oh shit, I cannot see here! Is that it? No. No, yes, that's it! Wait, is this the final boss of the game? No way. Oh my god. Really? Really still running? After you gave me a ridiculously insane, impossible to beat final boss on the first game, this is what you give me for the second game? Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. Uh, that was underwhelming. Really, really underwhelming, but there is this person that says, Come talk to me after you've finished your task, and then the guy I need to deliver the quest to see the final message. We'll do that. Now, my thoughts on the game. I think this is a well made game, honestly speaking. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical because they were going from the initial style, the pixel art, and things like that, to this style. I think some of the enemies didn't work too well with the repose style, aka the ones that the floating heads that were like, Pick, 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 pick. Other than those enemies, everything else was really manageable. And yeah, they went from like a game where you can like force your way through to a game where you had to like repose and think more and plan more your battles. I honestly think that they did a pretty decent job. As long as you knew how to use your mushrooms, you were actually able to like get out of the pretty sticky situations pretty with pretty with a lot of confidence and we did a we did a pretty decent amount of exploration i'm pretty sure because of the lack of i missed two skill points and i missed like four weapons i'm pretty sure that i, I did do a pretty good job at almost everything right so yeah honestly speaking i think that this is a pretty decent game to play if you are into this type of genres kind of similar to you know lies of p gods of war not a souls like because the only sacrifice is the a multiplier for experience which not a big deal unless you're a god and never die or of course i mean also the whole system with the being nervous or the sanity system i didn't really like the sanity system in this game i've never been a fan of it neither in the first one nor the second one i think that they didn't implement it correctly lords of the fallen did kind of like a better job with the sanity system although it wasn't a sanity system it was different right you were like really going into that world and in this game it was like you're going insane kind of interesting but i think it could have been implemented better however for an indie game the game is incredible really 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 good game i would suggest you guys wait a little bit to play it maybe some updates here and there but 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 it's still a great game it's like i'm pretty sure they do three four updates polish it a little bit with the a little box that we encounter gameplay wise i didn't feel that there was any problems Heavy weapons, they lack reach. That's a problem that I was having. Like, they hit, they're a little bit slower, and the moveset are a little bit slower than other weapons. That's a problem. The delay time before be behind attacks, even if you're super fast, the, the delay time is really big. So, that kind of, like, makes them a little bit harder to use. And there is not enough range for me to, like, hit them before they can hit me. So, that's kind of, like, what makes the fists in this game versus the first one uh, better. But anyways, had a lot of fun. 
right now I'm just gonna say goodbye but we will just wait until the end of the credits and we'll do whatever is left so <laughs> thank you for joining me in the adventure much love to y'all you guys are awesome and I'll see you guys in the next game goodbye And here we are. So, two things to do. I do not know where the old lady is. I think she might be upstairs. So, before we do anything, let's try to go upstairs and check it out. This video is already done, but we have three things to check out. We already speak with the professor for the menagerie. We can speak with him one more time to fa fa for a final dialogue. And then, um, I think we will be it. that will be it. We need to speak with the guy below us. Yeah, there she is. I don't know if she's gonna accept whatever I have, but who knows. Let's see. But I mean, in case that you guys are wondering, yes, this game has New Game Plus. So... If you guys are wondering about replayability and things like that, this game does offer that. I don't really think I would enjoy getting New Game Plus in a game like this. I think that the balance is a little bit rough, but hey, who knows. The fuming thurible of Inquisitor Odia. Truly a relic of no but I want more. Yeah, she takes everything that you have, so I definitely missed something. I think it was in the previous section, the boss with the the mechanical boss. Okay, that one. I think for the mechanical boss and for the previous boss we didn't or maybe it was just for the previous boss, I think we didn't get that extra item. I'm not sure where did I miss it. You guys will probably let me know. But yeah, I just wanted to confirm that. Other than that, let's just go this way. Ooh, that would have been bad. Hello? <laughs> okay, there it is. And now we can actually speak with this guy. Anything to say? I sense redemption. Oh, we actually completed all quests, so I do not know what's the point of the person on the top. So, it is done. The Lords of Isle have been slain, and the evil that seized the ancient land has ebbed out. The Gahas have been banished to the abyss whence they came. The world shall be forever grateful for your bravery, Striver. Yeah, this guy doesn't really do much. I can see some open areas over there. But I don't think that door is going to be open. Let's just do a... Uh, since we completed this, I meditate. Because you never know what's going to open and what's not. And now that we did a meditate, a couple of things to do. Just going to go downstairs and see the dialogue of each one of these guys. See what they have to say. Greetings. Okay, he doesn't really say anything new. It's a so, we are fine. Just for dialogue's sake, know what I'm saying? Like a little bit of context wouldn't be bad. You got any rooms worth infusing? He also doesn't say anything new. And then these two guys. I think there is one last one. From here, I just want to see if the door is open. I think that might be for a DLC. That door never got open, which is a little bit disappointing. So nobody else actually said anything. We're missing one guy here and one guy outside. Let's see if any... This guy normally gives you some insight, so maybe. Looking to improve yourself? Oh my god, none of them actually said anything new. Bless you, young one. That's disgusting. And uh, how about you? Do you say something new? Yeah, all of them, all of them are just chilling, so I guess I'm just gonna tell them all to have a good day. But yeah, I mean, that's the end. This is the end of Lord Fire. We have one last thing to do. Let's go upstairs. That way we can speak with the girl that we rescued in the zone with the cathedral. I believe that was the fourth zone. And she will be letting us know about something else. Maybe. 
Wait, where am I going? Where am I supposed to go? This place is a maze. I do like when games like give you castles like this, but I really don't like it too much when it like takes freaking forever to. How do you call that? What what is this? Interesting. I don't I don't like it when it takes like freaking forever to be able to get everything. Oh, look at that. Was that there all the time? I think it was. And if it was, I guess we could have been a little bit stronger at the beginning. Just a little bit. And there she is. You've done your duty as I bid. The lords of Aya rule no more. Now hear the secrets that I hid. Hear just what I have in store. There you go. The sequel and ending. So this has to do with the new game plus. So you have Claire's hands. I'm guessing that what this does is whenever you click on the new game plus, like there of insanity, sanity meters permanently bottom out, strivers dies of one hit. I don't know. I don't want to deal with that ever. Enemies get harder each playthrough. If that. Like, this is for the challenge. Like, what is it that you want to do for the challenge, right? So we don't care about any of this. So I guess nothing. When you're ready, yep. Toll the bell. Start the cycle by its now. So that's pretty much what it means. Like, you trigger the conditions for the next cycle. You ring the bell and you start New Game Plus. As of right now, we're not going to be doing none of that. Because I would like to have all my weapons and everything. And you guys know me. I'm not a New Game Plus type of guy. But anyways, the game was fun. Thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see y'all in the next game.